Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all. In this short video, we're going to explain how to use uh, for the RV assessment tool of uh, Tomtech software. According to what I know at this moment, there is no other software that can quantify the RV ejection fraction uh, by echocardiography except uh, Tomtech software. Uh, it usually starts by seeing this display once you open uh, the software, the Tomtech, you will have your list of your patients here, and then you will click on the study of interest. And if you have it on the machine on cart, this is something different for sure. And then right click here. The first one that comes is the 4D RV function. One left click. It will open here. As we used to see the Tomtech software, it is very helpful and very illustrative. So it gives you the instructions here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the images. And these lines are put where you should put them in uh, the 2D images here. So in image one, we need this green line will be at the apex and at the annulus of the metal valve. So we will put here this point at the LV apex and this one in B at the level of the metal valve annulus, not the tips. Put it at the level of the metal valve annulus and this for sure can be edited later on, but we need here full chamber view. So according to what I have seen, the best way to get the full chamber view is to put, go for frame uh, three or image number three and put this RV and the RV apex, and then TV tricuspid valve and the tricuspid valve annulus. Here, that will bring the full chamber uh, view for you here. If you went with the same order, that's fine. Otherwise, uh, I used to do this, and it goes uh, very well. Here also, this is the two chamber view. That point at the LV apex, as it is displayed here, and that one at the metal valve annulus. For sure, if you change it, this analyst here, it will change on the full chamber view at the other side as well. Okay. Like that. So we have here clear full chamber view, two chamber view. This is full chamber and we are uh, pointing towards the RV. And here is also the RV apex and is the tricuspid valve annulus. We are here left with putting just the aortic valve points here. Aortic valve one. Aortic valve 2, as you can see, the image, while it moves, then it stops at a certain point for a few moments. It allows you to just put your uh, point exactly at the required place. Then we will look to the short axis image. We have three things to do. We have here the anterior point and the posterior point of the junction with the uh, left ventricle. So we, we get this one here, exactly at the junction here and the posterior junction point here. And then that one, you cannot move this one up and down, just either side like that. That will simulate the cavity of uh, the RV. Now we are all set. We just go with that butyl revision. Immediately it gives us a cost for the RV in diastole. We can move this, you can see here everything. This is the pulmonic valve, RVOT, the trabecular part, and this is the inlet part, and this is the tricuspid valve annulus. And for sure you can edit any point you want. This is the diastolic frame, so you can change this if you need to edit in here as well. And that can change immediately. If I change it this, as you can see from the left side, cost it is changing really instantly so uh, I will put everything back into place and also from the full chamber view you can edit the annular points of the tricuspid valve here if you want otherwise leave everything in place if I'm satisfied I can go to the tricuspid valve points and edit it here if I need to edit otherwise I will leave it alone if I'm happy, I will go for tracking revision. It will now track the RV throughout the cardiac cycle. 
now we are having a mobile or moving cost for the RB in diastole and in systole as well. And now we have numbers. We have the in diastolic volume, in systolic volume, stroke volume, and ejection fraction. This is a 3D volume driven ejection fraction. And of course, you can edit anything you want. We edited before the diastole. That's why it gives you immediately here systole. And of course, you can go for the diastolic point. This is in diastole. And here in movie, systole. And here in movie, and also the four chamber view. You can edit that if you want. This is in systole. And of course, it will change the ejection fraction immediately. This is. This is how we can edit. Just go to the line. It will be highlighted. And then the highlighted part is editable now. And of course, I can change this. And it will change the configuration of uh, the cost immediately like that. See, it changed everything instantly. If you click this one, it will give you the systole, diastole, and then the motion, and then the cost with the numbers here. This is tricasmic valve point if you want to edit. That one is in systole. That one is in diastole. Like that. If you are happy with that, go for the analysis. Then now you can find the global results in diastolic volume, in systolic volume, stroke volume, and ejection fraction, the 2D measurements, the RV base, and also you can edit here if you want, the uh, RV longitudinal one, also you can edit, the TAPSI, in diastole and in systole, the frictional area change, the RV longitudinal uh, strain of the septum, the RV longitudinal strain of the free wall, Thank you so much. I hope that was helpful and uh, I welcome all of your comments and questions on uh, the YouTube channel or uh, the Facebook or LinkedIn group. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.